Welcome back to Slingshot Disc Golf. I'm here with QB1. We're gonna give him a lesson today. It's day one of his lesson. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, if that was my target right now, so that's my line. Am I lined up right if I'm a left-handed golfer? Pretty good, pretty good. If you line up like golf, your hips are already open. You can't explode at the hips because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go in relation to the target. Even if I turn my leg really good, I have to yank it down this line. So it's still gonna be very weird. This is how you aim. So this is golf. That's my line. This is disc golf. As opposed to what you were doing where you get in this position and then you go to here. Look at how painful that is. Even though this is the harder way and this is the right way in my opinion, it's actually the easiest way. You just don't have to go very far to get there. Because all professional disc golfers do it differently, there is a range of acceptability. This might not be the best style for you. This is how I do it. For example, some pros might line up here or here. It's up to you to find out your mobility and where you want to stand and aim. This is just one option in case what you have going on is not working. Quickly, an injury prevention precaution. When you change the way you line up, you're going to be rotating much more athletically. Using the back leg, using the core, you have to stretch and understand that this might not be the best way for everybody. When you throw a disc, it doesn't go down a straight line like that. It looks like this, this, this. So the arm goes out there as if the disc is going over there to hit your car over there, right? But because you have so much spin, I am not gonna use my shoulder, I'm just gonna go like that. And it went straight down that line. I didn't use the shoulder, didn't try to pull in a straight line. It went on a V. Mark has the disc right here. The disc and his body are all together right here. You can see the disc, it's in front of his shirt. In my opinion, he has no space to work. And that's why when he throws, he has to go around his body to get the disc to go where he wants it to go. On this side of the line is my body and it has all the space it needs to rotate. On this side of the line is the disc. The disc has this whole side so that it can work out in, out, and it has its space. The disc can do its thing, my body can do its thing, and it doesn't get in the way of each other. He has room to rotate, and the disc can go on the in and out path, and he doesn't run into himself. Three hundred and fifty feet is a great distance to work on your form. No reason to throw any further than that. And I'll also say, if you need a better explanation of all this, join the form review community and get a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one with me a month. And we can talk about all this stuff in much greater detail. My goal is to have my follow through and my chest facing the target. The chest should face the target while the foot is pointed that way. You're basically playing baseball left-handed now. So your back foot, your back leg, most likely does not have the strength, coordination. See those caps? All right, let's see it. <laughs> there you go, that looked good. Yeah. I got you. Starting here, out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that actually looked a lot better. So I worked with Mark for about two hours and here's the before and after. If you look on the left, he kicks his leg back, I call it the kickback, and now his feet are relatively in line with the cones, the target, and he has no choice but to pull it down on a straight line. If you look at the right, he's lined himself up in a way that gives him room to rotate and gives the disc room to work. This is the first time Mark's ever done this with his body. So we're gonna get him staying upright instead of slouching down. Also, the tee pad is pretty slippery. I mean- It's a commitment. Tell, do you wanna do it? I, I wanna, I want to want to do it, or I wanna, I need, I need a sign. 
Do you know who Drew Gibson is? Uh, the guy with the mullet. I mean, you know who Macbeth is. Everyone knows Paul. <laughs> that one felt good. Didn't look good. <laughs> <Come stand out. laughs> Slingshot. It's your core that does the exact same thing. So my, my stomach threw that. So technically you don't need that left arm. Oh, that all came from the tum-tum. <laughs>